How's it going boys? Put it back in our video. I hope you guys are doing well. I know I am. And as I always say in all my videos, I hope you guys are doing well during these crazy ass times. And I do appreciate all the love and support you guys have been giving me on the YouTube channel. We've been growing tremendously and it warms my heart knowing that each and every one of you guys look forward and like and enjoy the content that I provide you. Um, I, I, there, there is a, there's a limitless content to come. I have so much in store. Uh, basically, you know, the, the level 70 route that I believe everybody should take. You know, I don't want to spoil too much for you, but that video is going to be great. I got that coming out i got a, um, a, a a priest pvp deep dive that, that we're going to be covering Straz arena everything it's going to be fucking great um and like i think i might make a video about mages too um i know a little bit about mages and my boy icy fresh multi-glad mage is going to be helping me with that video so it'll be as accurate as i could possibly get it before i start the video i just want to say if you guys enjoy the content you enjoy tbc and you're excited as i am make sure you click that subscribe button ring the bell dude as everybody says right um because i have an ass load of content to come and I'm very hyped and I believe each and every one of you guys need to see this new content that's coming because I want each and every one of you guys to be as prepared as you can be for when Classic TBC comes out. Let's get right into the video, shall we? What is this video about? Basically, we're going to be covering um, all the Dark Moon fair cards and, and are any of the Dark Moon fair cards really good in TBC? I mean, I'll tell you guys right now, every single one of these cards has you know it's it's good to an extent right off the bat i'm going to let you know that all of these cards will not last you past like like you know tier four all of these cards will be good in, in tier four and like for for the content to come but uh they, they will all get replaced all of them have their each you know individual procs they're all different you know they're all different cards but uh, i just want to let you guys know that they will not last till past t4 so the first card we're going to be covering is the Dark Moon card Heroism. So it's level 60. You know, a lot of you guys have seen these. You know, we're going to be covering the classic ones first, and then we will go into the TBC uh, Dark Moon Fair cards. Um, you know, sometimes heals the bear for 120 to 180 damage when damaging an enemy uh, in melee. So as you guys see this card, you know, you might be thinking, you know, Warrior, Rogue, maybe a little bit Enhancement. Well, you're 100% correct. It, like, from what I've seen in the research, this card, it, it, it's decent. It's decent. But uh, it's it's mainly for leveling you know it, it this is gonna this is a very good leveling trinket like 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 rogues and warriors mainly um i just put enhancement in there because all three of those classes have have a lot of downtime you know obviously warrior and rogue having the most da downtime between pulls right uh for for leveling um that's all this card is honestly really good for is, is just leveling um and there's also a, a another there's a zangra marsh pvp um trinket that you can get it's called um the mark of the conquest i'll put that on the screen as well um this is uh, by capturing the pillars in Zangara Marsh. Uh, you get a similar trinket that's if not better. Well, I mean, it is better. It, it, it's, it's ridiculously better than the Dark Moon Fair uh, uh, card heroism. But again, you know, this card especially only really good for leveling for mainly warriors and rogues in particular. You could bring it if you're going to do enhancement. But besides that, th this card's pretty useless. So now moving into the next one, the uh, Dark Moon Fair card, which is Twisting Nether. Uh, at, at level 60, it's good. And at level 70, it's good right you know like i said the first card it's good at level 60 but it's not as good at level 70 for the for the prior card the um the heroism one uh but this card in particular like i said good at 60 and basically kind of good at 70 um gives the wear 10 percent 10 percent chance of being able to be resurrected at 20 percent health and mana so there trust me there has been a lot of speculation even this card in classic is it good well honestly when, what's the first thing you guys think when you see this pvp pve neither vendor probably but um <laughs> uh, it's mainly a pvp trinket coming from a guy at pvp is a lot i know a pvp trinket when i see one this is definitely a pvp trinket but uh, i mean technically it could be usable in in pve like like like, like if you're doing pr progression in karazhan and you're at prince and you're wiping over and over and over it might be good to have but you got to keep in mind that, that, that like you know at 70 in the tier 4 content there's a lot of gear that just outweighs this obviously this is a healing trinket if you guys can't tell that already honestly the only thing i could see this w w being good for is uh you know pvp or wipe prevention right um if you guys wipe on, on prince and you know you don't gotta do all the all the run back that's the only way i, I, I would see its usefulness uh in, in tbc is, is wipe prevention again mainly for healers uh 
and I mean, it's only a 10% chance. That, that means one out of 10 wipes, you're gonna, you're, it's gonna proc for you, which I don't see that being dramatic. Even if it was, honestly, even if it was three out of 10 times, I don't even think I would still take it. This is, you know, you're not gonna be on the auction house. Where's it at? Give me, give me, you know, you're not gonna be waiting for this one. You're not gonna be farming this one. Uh, you know, again, I would only take it for PVP, I, you know, just, just you know if you're playing an enhancement shaman or an le shaman or you're playing a warlock you know you you're able to soul stone yourself die then use the trinket like you know it, there's, there's some cool uses for it but again i don't see a, a very you know uh serious use for it now moving on to the next one uh dark moon card maelstrom um this is a level 60 card uh it, it, it it's decent at level 60 and it's barely decent at level 70. um so this is a very niche card this is a very niche card i would I would, I would say that that this card is you know it, it's more of a leveling card it's more again this is not a leveling card very niche though i would say it's mainly for like ellie and hansen feral um you know due to uh, how fast they're attacking these are three very you know even rogue let's throw a rogue in there too ideally the only class i could see really using this would be um you know feral enhanced and ellie due to you know the nature damage and in their talents you know they get spec into increased nature damage because like this trinket can crit but again it's only for leveling dude uh you know it, it's 200 to 300 nature damage um on, on an auto and i just again i just see it for leveling it's not very good even then uh, if you guys haven't played tbc you know there's a quest line in hellfire peninsula for alliance and horde that gives you a really good on use blue trinket that increases your spell power attack power whatever it may be your healing and uh, it just completely outweighs this i could you know maybe if you use both of them that's the only way i could see it but uh this is definitely not a trinket that you know is even useful for anybody that you know that wants to be serious about leveling or even you know tier 4 content if they have this just go ahead and g kick them Moving on to the next card, Dark Moon Card Crusade. Okay, so now we're moving over to, to the, you know, the, the, there's four classic cards and then there's four TBC cards. You know, the, this Dark Moon Fair card, I'm gonna read it out. And you know, I, I know what you guys are saying just as you're looking at it. it it's, a, it's, a, it's a very fucking monster of a trinket. So each time you deal you deal melee or range damage to an opponent, you gain six attack power for, ten, for the next 10 seconds, stacking up 20 times. Each time you land a harmful spell Spell on an opponent you gain eight spell damage for the next 10 seconds trust me this one is fucking monster this is a very very good dark moon fair card so there's one in particular class that i can see this being fucking monster for I mean i ideally two but one in general enhanced shaman getting that attack power and that spell power you know any class that can utilize both of them you know the 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 proc from the attack power and the spell power that's fucking monster an enhanced shaman with crusade will fucking pump and I hate to say it, dude, but also Rhett. Rhett getting the attack power and the spell power off this motherfucker would be completely huge. And again, this Dark Moon Fair card has its limitations. If you're going for a really, really long fight, it's going to be good, you know. But if it's, if it's a short fight, you know, you're gonna, you're just going to blow through it. I don't, you know, you want the throughput. You don't really want this this trinket. This trinket takes time to stack. Therefore, it's a short fight. You're not even going to be able to stack it the entire way. But again, for Rhett and Enhanced Shaman, I see, I, I see that this being very, very good. Oh, don't get me wrong. This is good for all DPS, but classes that can utilize both the spell power and the attack power will, will tremendously, you know, uh, pump with this trinket. So now it's gonna do a little fun trinket, right? Um, Dark Moon card, Madness. Each time you land a killing blow on an enemy that yields experience or honor, you gain Power of Madness. Honestly, a PvP trinket. But Panda, what is Power of Madness? So, th so before I even... Before we even dive into this, um, if any of you guys have played retail, there's a trinket that drops out of the other side. That's the name of the dungeon, and it's called like the quantum device. When you when you click it, it gives you an outcome of different you know spells or buffs that you may get. This trinket is, is the exact same. I'll put a picture on the screen. You can see it right there. There's delusional dementia, uh, kleptomania, maniac, uh, martyr complex, megalomnia, narcissism, paranoia, sociopath. Right? There's all buffs that you know. It depends on your class. I think that's super cool. I think that's super unique. And also, when this procs, your character speaks demonic that the Alliance and the Horde could see. 
it's kind of like well, it's kind of like an arena you know if, you're, if you want to type out something or your, or your character you know programmably says something uh and it warlock curse of tongues you your character will speak in demonic it's kind of like that but uh this trinket you know with the rng on it you know it, it, it could be a good tanking trinket i guess you know in in in, in uh, pve content but uh, as a caster i personally wouldn't take it if you're a druid sh uh, druid shaman priest warlock or mage which is 90 percent of the casters because i mean look, look, go ahead and look at dementia it, it, you know it has a chance to either fuck you or help you right so eh, the odds of that are eh. i mean you could take it as a healer maybe to get the extra 35 intellect but uh again this is just a fun card you know, that you could have in pvp but i definitely don't see this having a place in any progressive tier 4 content and it being you know needed in like a must right like you're not going to be sitting at the auction house waiting for this to be posted and buy it immediately it's it's, it's a mediocre card but uh, but you know still 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 it's, it's very fun being able to gamble with all the procs and I just want to say before I before we finish with the madness, uh, the madness card, um, it, there is something I want. You know, if you guys do want this card, there's something I wanted to let you guys know. If T if classic TBC is released pre patch this buff that you get from the from the card will only last 30 seconds. If Blizzard releases classic TBC in 2.4.3, the card will last one minute. It did get buffed in the final patch of TBC. Just want to let you guys know that if this card is something you guys want to go after, you know that is a tip that I would like you guys to know. Now moving on to another card this card is fucking monster for one class in one class only you have you have a 10 percent chance when hit by an attack or harmful spell to deal 95 to 115 holy damage to the attacker and 51 stam yep you guys know what class that is going to be fucking buying tons of gold from their favorite gold seller to get this this motherfucker will be worth a lot of money paladins will eat sleep and shit trying to get this th this trinket this is a monster as you know 90 percent of, of of the damage that paladins do are holy damage and uh w w and you know with them specced into it and yada 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 um you know this this is gonna be a monster tanking trinket and as you see paladins don't really pull one mob unless they're taking a boss 90 percent of the time paladins have you know four or five you know even mobs on them so this trinket being able to get them even more threat and whoever attacks them and hits them you know with that 10 percent chance to do holy damage is, is absolutely monster every paladin is going to want this and if you want to play a, tank, a prop paladin you're going to want this trinket as well now moving on to our last and final card I, i'm glad this video turned out the way it did i actually worked tremendously hard on it like i do all of my videos i actually worked really hard on it um so if you guys enjoy the video before we finish this last card if you guys enjoyed the video leave a like give a thumbs up you know let me know in the comments if you have any questions did i miss anything any questions comments concerns let me know i love hearing your guys's feedback i really really do i i try to answer all the youtube comments i get uh you know sometimes i spend up to 30 minutes answering the comment just because i love getting giving you guys the information that you guys deserve also subscribe because i love you know i love having every Every single everybody joined the panda squad i really appreciate it and i love each and every one of you guys so let's get right into it shall we the dark moon card wrath each time one of your direct damage attacks do not uh, critical stri critically strike you gain 17 critical strike rating for the next 10 seconds this effect is consumed when you deal a critical strike so panda what is this good for um honestly i would only really say ld shamans are boomkins that's the that's like about the only way i would say it warriors they're gonna fucking crit non-stop if you're not critting over and over and over you know this trinket's better for like if, if you go like four to five casts without a crit it's better right an example would be ellie shaman or boomkin right you know it's it's very again with the longevity of the fight i i i don't see how this trinket could be could be super good i just you know it's not as good for melee just because even at the start of um of, of tbc again that trinket that comes out of hellfire peninsula that shit's better than a lot of these right it's obviously better than wrath and we were talking about maelstrom right i'll put maelstrom on the screen on the screen one more time that trinket's obviously better than this one you know that card is better than this one i just don't see this one being viable and uh, honestly you know even ilhuf right even you know the ilhuf trinket for casters that shit's monster and you know as soon as you get that you're just gonna replace this i don't see you know it caps at seven percent crit too i don't see this being viable you know just because there's other trinkets out there that are just surprisingly better i would say this is more of a leveling trinket you know honestly i'd even go as as the low 
you know, just say, yeah, it is a leveling trinket. Um, you know, but if, if you do want it, I would say get on Ellie Shaman or Boomkin just because, you know, like, like they, they, they gamble the most with their crits. I, I just don't think, I just don't think this card's very reliable. You know, I, I just, I just don't care for this card. And I don't think it's very reliable. And that is basically all of the cards, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. You know, hopefully this clears a couple things up because Dark Moon Fair cards are always kind of the thing, the back thing in people's heads. You know, they don't, they, you know, they, they think about it, but it's kind of like, eh, you know, I, I don't really know what they are. I don't really know what they do. So hopefully this video cleared it up for you guys. Hopefully it, it cleared that up. And, you know, if you guys want a specific card, you know how to get it, and you, you, you know, you know what it does, right? And if it's good for your class, right? Next, I think I'm going to do it, boys. Next, we're either going to be covering the PvP deep dive, which will probably take me two or three days to make, or we'll be covering the fastest way, you know, to, to level 70 and the most beneficial way for you guys, you know, so you guys have a direct route all the way to 70. And the way I think you guys should level up all the way to 70. We will cover that in the next video, either that or the PvP deep dive. If you guys enjoyed the video, like I said, subscribe, leave a comment. I would love to know what you guys think. And yeah, it's been Panda Boys. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.